Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Fitness Cal San Cal. Today we are going to learn about palm cooling. What is it? What it can do for you and how you can do it. And at the end, I'm going to explain the experiment that I'm conducting for the next four weeks. All right, guys, this is pretty groundbreaking stuff. So get ready. Let's get right into the video. Pew. Okay, guys, so first up, what is palm cooling? Palm cooling is when you cool down your palms in between sets to bring your core body temperature down. When you work out, your body heats up and studies have shown, which I'm going to link in the description below, that when you heat up, it prevents you from going further. So when you cool your palms, it brings your core body temperature down, which in turn, leads to more endurance, more strength, which allows you to do up to four times your workload. So this is pretty amazing stuff. Like if this works, this is pretty groundbreaking. So just remember there's, there's multiple ways to cool your palms. A lot of people are doing water buckets. So in between sets, you'll put your, hand, your palms in a bucket of water, which will cool your body down and then you get back to working but you need to be very careful to not cool your body too much because that will actually constrict your blood vessels which will make blood flowing through your muscles a lot slower so you need to make sure that you don't get your body too cold your hands should still be pretty warm so why are we specifically targeting the palms versus any other part of the body the palms they have no hair on them which actually allow you to transfer heat in faster or transfer heat out faster so there's a couple parts in your body that don't have hair on them it's your palms your face and then the soles of your feet so these areas can either transfer heat out or bring heat in quicker than other parts of your bodies so it'll cool you down cool you down faster or heat you up faster. So that's why we target the palms of the hands versus any other area. All right, so now that we know what palm cooling is and how you can do it, we're gonna go over what it can actually do for you. Some studies at Stanford University from Dr. Craig Heller, they had individuals go through pull-ups, dips, bench, and they logged the results with pull, palm cooling and without palm cooling. And without palm cooling, they were obviously doing less. And then with it, they were doing about three to four times the work volume. So they would be going from 100 pull-ups to 180 without palm cooling. And then with palm cooling in between sets, they were able to get all the way up to 600 pull-ups. And the crazy thing is this actually helps out with recovery as well, they're saying. And it actually prevents getting DOMS, which is the delayed onset muscle soreness. So this is awesome stuff. It basically gets you bigger, faster, and stronger by keeping your body temperature where it wants to be and not allowing your body to get too hot when you're working out. It's pretty crazy stuff. It's totally groundbreaking. So I'm excited about learning more about this and trying, you know, my own little experiments to see what happens. Right now I'm actually conducting a, you know, a four week experiment I'm doing. I'm doing two weeks of doing pull ups to failure, five sets for four days each week. And then I'm gonna do the same two weeks with the palm cooling in between sets. I'm gonna use a bucket of water and I need to get that bucket of water between 50 to 60 degrees. So it's, it's gonna be faucet on cold should work but i need to make sure that i get the right temperature so i got a little temperature check gun i'm going to shoot it um and see and make sure that it's not getting too cold because you remember you can't get your palms too cold because then that'll actually constrict your blood vessels and slow down the blood flowing through your muscles palm cooling was brought to my attention on twitter during one of my live streams that i do every weekend if you're not following you should definitely check it out i do a live stream of my workouts every weekend where you can ask me anything it's pretty cool stuff but it uh palm cooling was brought to my attention on there from another twitter follow uh follower his name is Milk and Trevor. Pretty cool stuff so i i started diving down the rabbit hole of this looking through all the studies 
doing some research and uh, the, the one video that really helped out a lot was Andrew Huberman's podcast episode. Um, I'm going to link that down below as well. Definitely uh, start, start reading about all this stuff. It's very, very groundbreaking stuff. It, um, I guess it's being used already by collegiate athletes and professional athletes as well as the military. So they're already getting on the, the wagon of this palm cooling stuff. There's not a lot of devices out right now that can actually cool down your palms. So if you're doing it at home, you gotta just figure out certain things like, oh, I'm gonna do the, the water, I'm gonna try that out. I also got a couple other ideas. Of, I got a cooling pad that I keep in the freezer that I'd probably just dab my hands on in between sets and see how that works. But they don't have any devices out yet. The only thing that I can see is, um, there's this thing, I think it's called the cool mitt, and you stick your hands in that, but I don't think it's out yet. Um, but you could definitely go check out that website as well. I might even end up getting that and see how that goes. Very, very cool stuff, guys. So definitely check it out and uh, try it out. And if you try it out, let me know how it goes. Let me know how your results go. And then in a couple weeks, once I finish my experiment, I mean, go, go over all the data that I gathered and see how it goes. So I'm extremely excited about all this. I can't wait to see my results. It's, it's really fun logging all the data, then go through the data and see what happens, especially once I start the palm cooling, which should be in two weeks I'll start that. So it's going to be great to see the data. So make sure you tune in for that. That'll be coming out in the next few weeks. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, Definitely go and do that. I, I post all different types of self-improvement stuff all the time. And then every weekend I live stream my workout, which is really cool and interesting stuff. You get to see my whole workout unedited. I go through the whole thing. You get to see what I'm working on and then you get to ask me anything. So definitely follow me on that and make sure if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And if you like the video, make sure you punch the like button. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye. Pew.